During the 19th century, there were very few careers open to women besides that of wife and mother. For much of the century, a married woman had no legal rights at all. She could not own property, sign contracts, or keep her own earnings. She didn't even have a legal right to her own children. If her husband died or divorced or abandoned her, her rights did not automatically return. Women whose marriages had ended or who remained single by choice were often looked upon with pity or contempt. Some found decent paying work as actresses or performers, painters and shopkeepers, or later in the century, physicians. But most were forced to take jobs that were low in status and low in pay. Sewing, dressmaking, hat making, housekeeping, teaching, or tavern and innkeeping. Working mothers without husbands earned so little money that they were often forced to give up their children, sending them to live with friends or relatives or even to orphanages. However, on the frontier and in less settled areas of the country, the picture for women was a little brighter. Lucy Thompson, whose husband owned Thompson's Tavern, was not only named executrix of his sizable estate when he died, but also retained custody of most of her children. Music